Hey guys, Brent here with Bring Your Own Tools, aka BYOT. Thank you for joining me today, and we are going to be doing a watch stand. I don't really know why we need watches in the first place nowadays, because of the fact that we're so technology based, but you know what? I have these three watches, I don't want to get rid of them, so we're going to try something out that I found on Pinterest. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and start talking about material. We need one floor flange, one three inch pipe, one T, two five inch pipe, and two caps chop saw, drill with four screws, some type of degreaser, grinder, sander with 120 grit sandpaper, clamp, stain, finishing paste, and something to open it with, square edge with pencil, 6x2 wood material, a bucket, and gloves. Yay! Brent actually remembered to get gloves. Pour approximately a gallon of water with one to two cups of your degreaser. Then place your black iron in the bucket and let it soak for five minutes. So go and get your gloves on and start scrubbing. Now all of these fittings and pipes are extremely dirty because of the fact they are machine threaded, which is why we need to clean them. And if you uh, want to see what your hands will look like if you don't use gloves, go ahead and watch BYOT number two and you'll fully understand. Now go and grab your wood material and trace a line where you want to cut. I am cutting at five and a half inches because I want this piece square. Now this board I'm using is two by six and the actual nominal dimension is inch and a half by five and a half inches. Now I'm clamping my wood to the table because I don't want it to start moving around on me while I'm grinding it. Now I've never actually used this technique before but I'm trying something new because the Pinterest item that I found has this technique so why not try it out and see how it goes. Now I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that don't have a grinder so in all reality you don't specifically need one for this project. You can uh, try a different type of technique on your actual wood block if any. But in any case this is what was on the pitch side which is why I'm doing it. Once grinding is complete you can go ahead and take your sander and take your 120 grit sandpaper and start sanding the surface. Now, I'm sure you can use a different type of sandpaper, but in all reality, the 120 grit gives me a nice smooth finish, and it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth because of the fact that this is an actual industrial grade looking project. So there you go. Now comes time to the finishing portion of this project, and we are using the same stain that we've used in the past, which is the Verithane Wood Stain Kona Color. You can achieve full color saturation in one coat, and this is also a good time to make sure you have your gloves on because of the fact that if you don't, your fingernails will be stained for at least a week. After I let it dry for a little while, I go ahead and give it a quick wipe down and you are ready to apply your finish coat. Now comes the wax on wax off portion of the project. This is the finishing coat in which we are using Howard's Paste Wax which we've used in the past. Now this is a great finishing product, especially if you're looking for a low sheen type finish. With this type of application, it's perfect because we're looking for the more industrial type look. Now once your wood base is taken care of, go ahead and take your floor flange and center it in the center of the board and screw it in. Go ahead and grab the rest of your fittings and screw them all together. Now this is a nice quick easy portion of the project and uh, just as a side note I'm using 3 quarter inch pipe here. You don't obviously have to go this big but I like something more substantial looking for this project. Now look at that. That is one sexy beast. Let's put some watches on this bad boy. Oh, much better. So much better. Oh yeah, that is one nice industrial grade watch holder thank you for your time please like this video please subscribe to this channel and please give me an idea as to what i should do in my next video i might do it in any case thank you for your time and catch you next time do you have the time yes would you like eastern central pacific time